filmmaking is like a jigsaw. The writer creates the picture on the jigsaw puzzle box. The cast and crew go off and spend ages making all the individual little pieces. And then it's the editor's job to put the jigsaw puzzle together. Um, sometimes it looks like the picture on the box. Sometimes the pieces aren't quite right and you have to find a different way to fit them all together. What I love about editing is that you're indoors, it's warm and dry, and unless you have any technical problems, which are pretty rare, there's really nothing getting in the way of the pure creativity of it really getting to the heart of the film you're trying to make. So the viral video I've been editing today, and uh, it's cut to music, there's not really any dialogue or any production sound, so it's quite different to a sort of dialogue based scene where you're always trying to follow the script. Um, each scene in viral has maybe only two or three shots, and there's not a lot of matching to do from shot to shot. Um, so really I got to a first cut quite quickly, having laid down the music and then edited the shots to the beat. Um, and then really the bulk of what I've been doing on it is compositing and grading, so getting the uh, special effects of the images on the screens um, to work and getting the best out of the images in terms of colour and contrast and things. Uh, but let me show you some examples of the effects in this video. So this is a shot where we've got Therese coming into her office and we've got a couple of blank computer monitors here and we're going to put this image of her and her family into those computer monitors. So we first of all put the one shot on top of the other in the timeline and then in distort mode all we do is drag the corners of the image to match the frame of the computer screen in the image underneath like so. Uh, and then we just add a few filters and reduce the opacity a bit and just tweak the blending to get the most realistic look to it. The final result is this. Uh, one of the particular requirements of this edit was uh, cutting to the music, cutting to the beat. Um, here's a shot of Therese just walking along. And I thought it would be nice if the cut from this wide shot of the building to the tighter shot happened on the beat of the music. So I can actually go into the audio waveform here and find the beat either by looking at the peaks in the waveform or by listening to it. And that's the beat I want just there. So I can just put a marker in, and then all I have to do, that marker comes up in the timeline down here, all I have to do is shorten this shot so the end of it meets the marker, and this is the final result. Colour correction is another thing that I've done throughout the film. Um, two reasons for colour correction, one is simply to match uh, shots together so that the colour tint and the brightness and everything is consistent throughout a scene or a sequence. The other is an aesthetic thing to get the look you want. Um, so here's a shot of Therese walking along. Uh, nothing wrong with it at all, um, but aesthetically it would be nice if there was a bit more colour saturation and a little bit more contrast in it. So what I'm going to do is put a colour corrector filter on it. So I'm going to pull the black slider down to make the shadows deeper and richer. And I'm going to punch up the colour saturation. And then I'm going to move the colour wheel over to the orange end to give a more summery, sunny look. And here's the finished result. 